All right, guys, we've got some cool little projects coming up soon with rockets and smoke bombs and stuff like that. And for that, we're gonna need some slow burning fuses. So here's how we're gonna make some. All right, so you're gonna need, first of all, this is potassium nitrate. I've just got it in a smaller cup, so it's easier to pour. You want around about 37 grams of that or thereabouts. All right, something like that. And we'll dump that in there. And then we're gonna want 12 grams of sugar. Dump that in there. And then round about 50 grams of just normal water. You can use tap water for this. using it out of a bottle for the sake of the video. Yeah, 56, that'll do. Dump that in there as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and power up our little stove here. Electric stove's probably safer than gas. All right, that's on. So we've got our little mix going on here. Don't want to burn this, keep stirring it up. With all that sugar and, and a potassium nitrate, you want that all to mix up and dissolve into the water. All right, so while that's going on, we'll get, get ourselves a bit of string. No sort of exact amount or anything. So while that's going on, we can get our string. If we just tie a little, get the two ends and tie them together, that's gonna stop it knotting up so much later on. When we dump that in there, we don't want it all getting too tangled and knotted, so that'll help it a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and dump all that in there. Well, that's going on, we're gonna go and get our baking tray ready. Baking tray here. We're just gonna get a bit of aluminium foil. Aluminum for you American guys. And let's chuck a bit of that on, on top of this pan. Stop messing it up. Baking tray even. All right, so we've got that ready. You'll see more of that in a minute. All right, guys. At this point here, everything went wrong. My memory card was full. So I had to quickly whip it out of the camera, stick it in the computer, take some files off, put it back in the camera. By which point, the liquid got way too like dense and dehydrated. So I quickly dumped it out onto the baking sheet. And, well... This is what happens here. All right, so we get that out of that pan. And... Oh, it's messy, but you want to lay that out on here. It's quite hot, so you can put gloves on if you like. All right, so you want to stick your oven onto about 150, 140 degrees, something like that. A centigrade if you're Fahrenheit, you just want to put it in there just under sort of 300, roughly about that, and then about 15 minutes. And this oven's already been preheated, I've had it on before. Just stick that in there like that. Alright, guys, I'm starting to get brown in there now. So I think we'll switch that off early and test it out. All right, so there it is. It feels pretty hard now, so most of the water must have evaporated out there by now. 
Oh, let's start right up and see what happens. Check it out, guys. That is working. That is working good. For first attempt, that is perfect. Oh, I'm gonna go and try another bit. Oh. Looks good that one for some reason. If you're wondering where you get potassium nitrate from, I've got mine from Amazon. Sometimes it's called saltpeter. And if you can't find it in its pure form like this, then another place you can find it is stump remover. Just look on the, on the back, it'll tell you how much is in there. And you want it to be near enough 100%. All right guys, so if you like that video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.